and this is for many of you and some of you. This is for some of you. There are some of you, you have been holding on to fear. You have been holding on to fear. You've been holding on when God is wanting you to let go. And the reason why you've been holding on is because you have been afraid. You have been afraid to let go. See, because, because if you let go, then it feels as though you're losing control. See, but you're not losing control. You're losing control, but you're losing control that God can take the wheel. I know it's bad because what well, is bad for you because you've trusted all your life. You've trusted men. You've trusted women. You've trusted preachers. You've trusted all kind of people, but everybody's let you down. And so now you have a trust issue. You are afraid of letting go. But your blessing is in you releasing it. Your blessing is in you letting go. This is when you're going to come forth. This is where when you're going to really, really begin to develop when you let go. This is when you're going to really see what God wants you to see when you let go. You have to let go because when you let go, you're saying, God, I trust you. When you let go, you're saying, God, I'm going to believe you this time. I know that I've got hurt. I know that I was betrayed. I know that I was let down before. But God, I know that you're not a man and you won't let me down. Because God, you said in your word that you would never leave me nor forsake me. And so for that reason, God, I ain't going to trust you. This is how you must form your mouth as it concerning God and what it is that you want God to have. Or you, what it is that you want God to bring out. Or what it is that you want God to deliver you from. In order for God to deliver it, you must give it to him. And the only way you can give it to him is by letting go of it. The longest you hold on to it, it's going to keep looking at you every morning. Every morning that problem is going to keep looking at you. Every morning that situation is going to look at you. Every morning. Now listen to this. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain and I'm going to give you an example of letting go. Now my son, my son, now my son, he's been walking for a while now. Braces, of course. And he has a walker, but he's been walking. And many of you don't know that he's been walking without feeling most of the time in his legs. He can walk, but he can't feel. And see, many of you, God, God don't want you to, God, God wants you to walk without feeling. See, many times, and the reason why you're stopping and you're not moving and you're afraid because you feel as though if you, if you can't feel it, then you can't control it. And if you can't control it, then you won't let go. You won't walk. See, God wants you to walk even with feeling. See, because as you're walking with feeling, without feeling, God is going to give you the necessary feeling after the journey. See, because in this journey and in this test that you're in, it, you're numb. You are numb to pain. You are numb to so much because things are so heavy and you've been beat so much constantly, constantly. It has developed a numbness about you. You are numb with no feeling. See, in this numb place, this is where God wants you to walk. See, because when you're walking, that means you're trusting him. And see, God is at the end of your numbness. God is at the end of your test. God is at the end of your pain. But all he wants you to do is obey him and begin to walk. See, your, your authority and your breakthrough is in your obedience. And your obedience is in you walking. It's in your motion. It's in you moving. See, God is restoring back. God is a, a total recall. God is restoring, recovering back. And one of the definitions of restoring or restoration is to recover, to reform, to reshape. What? Back to the same order again. In other words, to recover again, to reshape again, to reheal again. And see, God wants to recover you. God wants you to come back under the ark of safety. God wants you to trust him and it starts with, <coughs> and it starts with letting go. And in this example now, check this out now, my son, for, for the longest now, he's been walking for some time now. And for so long he's been walking, but because of fear, his legs been walking, but because of fear, He's been holding most of the weight, a lot of the weight in his arms. And because of that, it's causing his arms to hurt. And it's causing his shoulders to hurt sometimes, sore or whatnot. And so today I found, I found this out. And today, the, the therapist instructed him to let go. The braces are there to support your weight. And so today, my son began to let go. Let go. And the reason why he said that he, he didn't let go before because he was afraid. He was trying to control everything. He was moving, but he didn't trust just his legs, but he trusts his arms. 
the thing that he could feel. He could trust that. And so he held on to that. And but today he was instructed to let go of what you feel and move what you see. And see, when you move what you see in the things of God, that's faith. Now, you have to let go of what you control. That's the five senses. Uh, that's bills. That's troubles. That's hurts. That's sickness. You can't control that. You can't control it. You can feel it, but you can't control it. God wants you to let that go. God wants you to let that go. Let go of the, the shame. Let go of the hurt. Let go of being afraid and the fear of being alone. Let go of all of that. God wants you to let go of all of that and just begin to walk. And see, when you walk, that means you're walking in the word. You see, because the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. And see, faith is the legs that will carry you to hope. See, because the Bible said right now, faith. See, God wants you to live right now. God want to trust, you want you to trust him right now. And when you trust him right now, then as you're walking, and see what you're walking on, what you're walking on, you're walking on hope. You're walking on believing. You're walking on God, I trust you. That's what you're walking on. And as you're walking, you're walking. You're walking over the water. And what you're going to do, you're going to walk to the other side. And, <coughs> and see, the other side is the promise. And see, God is calling you to the other side. And But all you got to do is to not look at your fears and just begin to walk. Don't worry about the feeling. Don't worry about all of that. You see, because that's going to come back. In the, in, eventually, that's going to come back. But right now, God just wants you to walk, even though you're numb. Walk, even though uh, you despair. You're in despair. Walk, even though you reject it. Walk, even though you want to throw in the towel and give up, God still wants you to walk. And see, because, see, life comes in motion. See, God is in motion. God, the Bible says he's a wheel. In the middle of a wheel, that means that that wheel that keep turning. God keep turning. He's a fire. He's a consuming fire. And so God wants you to keep motion and walking. And see, because as you're walking, God's going to cause you to, your feeling to come again. As you're walking, God's going to cause your joy to come again. And as you're walking, God's going to cause your breakthrough to come. Hear me and hear me well. God wants you to let go. He wants you to let go. He wants you to let go of what you control. He wants you to let go of what you can sense and feel. And see, God wants you to become fearless. God don't want you to allow fear to keep you from what God has called you to. See, God wants you to stand up and, and begin to do everything that he called you to do. See, what fear is in your way. But see, what the Bible said, that God has not given us a, a spirit of fear, but he's given us power. And see, in that power, there's ability. In that power, there's know-how. And in that power, there's authority. And in that power, God will bring love and in a sound mind. And see, when you have power, then you're going to have love. Love's going to come because it's under power. And then when you have that, that, that power, also, you're going to have a sound mind. You are going to have a side mind. See, because why is that? The Bible says those that keep their mind stayed upon Jesus, God, he's going to keep them in perfect peace. When your mind is on him, he's going to cause you to go and live in perfect peace. You know, he's going to relax your mind. He's going to relax your situation. This is so all you got to do, and I'm commanding you, by the power of God in your situation, God wants you to walk. Walk. Walk through the walk through the valley of the shadow of the death. And as you're walking, God said, God said, I will cause a table, a, a table before you in the presence of your enemy, in the presence of what you're facing, in the presence of what you're seeing and what you're dealing with. See, because what you're seeing and what you're dealing with, God is greater. And what you're seeing and what you're dealing with, what's in you is greater. And so God wants you to walk. Don't allow fear to immobilize you. Don't allow fear to paralyze you. Don't allow fear to stop you from doing what God has called you to do. And see, because if God called you to do it, you must do it because he said that if he called you to do it, that means that he's giving you the necessary stuff in you to succeed. The Bible said, Unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you ask and think according to the power that works in you. It's working in you. Joy is working in you. Deliverance is working in you. Breakthroughs are working in you. You got to trust him today, will you? Remove that fear. Trust him today. And he will see you through. Leave that fear. Go and let that fear go. And go to God. Go to the master. And let him bless you. And he will do it good. Amen. Have a good day and be encouraged in the Lord. Keep trusting him. Keep believing him. And trust the God in you. Trust yourself. Be patient with yourself. Learn how to love yourself. And as you're learning how to love uh, yourself, learn how to love others. Don't walk around mean. Don't walk around sad. Trust God. You are going to get the victory. You are coming out of this situation. God has, God is your source. God is your victor. God is your power. And God is your reference point. 
And he said, you are coming out. He said, you are blessed. He said, you're the apple of his eye. He says, you are victorious. He said, you are victorious in him. He said, he's all powerful, which means that if he said it, it's so. Amen. God bless you.